This next video is about polar functions, finding lines that are tangent to the function and go through the pole. So lines tangent at the pole. And this is what that means. It's a line that goes through the pole, da. The pole means the origin, so it looks like that, a line that goes through the pole. So keep both those things in mind. And is tangent to the graph you've made. Tangent means it touches it at one point. So what form would that have in polar coordinates? If you have a line that's tangent to the pole, what general form does that have to have? I'll let you pause the video or think about it for a minute, and then I'm going to write in the answer. So you want to pause now. The general form of that, a straight line going through the pole, is always theta equals some constant, like theta equals 0 or theta equals pi over 6, that kind of thing. No r involved for that kind of line. All right, the conditions that create this are, well, it goes through the pole. Right, the tangent, it goes through the pole. So the condition is at that point, right there, at the pole, the line is tangent to your function. At that point, r equals what? Again, pause the video, r equals zero. Okay, so that's the condition. You set r equal to zero and solve for theta. There's a second condition that you really don't have to worry about as much. This is the really important one. But if you want to be complete, the rate of change of r with respect to theta can't be zero. That would create a cusp. That would create a situation where as theta changes, um, the rate of change of r slows, 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 and then stops at the origin, and then maybe goes back out. So you get a cusp, something that looks like this. And that doesn't have a tangent. That violates the definition of tangent. All right, so here's an example. Remember, this is our condition, r equals 0. Here's a function, polar function, r equals sine of 3 theta. If I give you enough time, you should be able to graph that. It takes a little bit of effort because it's 3 theta, but it can be done. And here's the graph. Okay. Now, on this graph, again, pause the video and think about what would the tangent lines look like if you drew this. And they have to be lines that go through the pole and are tangent to your graph at the pole. Okay. All right. And it would have three. The first one would be right along here. It would touch the blue curve and at the pole touches the blue curve at the pole. The formula, or the equation for that is obvious. That's theta equals zero. So we don't even need to do any calculations, any analysis to figure that one out. The second one would be right here. There's the pole, and it's one that looks like this. This is what a tangent to the pole looks like. It goes through the pole and touches your function once at the pole. And then here's the last one. Now you could guess what they are, but we want to prove exactly what they are. So this is our question, theta equals what? And for this one, theta equals what? So look at the condition. You set r equal to 0. So we're going to do that and see what happens. So number 5 is solving this. r equals 0 means sine of 3 theta equals 0. Right? You set this equal to 0. So it's r equals 0, and then you solve for theta. How do you do something like that? You think of this inside as a thing. And you ask yourself, well, wait a second. What if I were doing sine of a equals 0? When does the sine equal 0? Again, if you want to pause for a minute and think about it, we're, we need 3. 1, 2, 3 from our graph. Think about it. If you want to pause the video, write it. It's when a equals what? a equals what? a equals what? Okay. And then if you really want to go further, after you fill those in, go back over here and figure out theta. Three values. Theta equals what? Theta equals something, and theta equals something. All right, so let's do that. Sine equals zero when the angle equals zero. And then the next one time cycle, sine equals zero, since on the unit circle it's the y coordinate, be way over here when a equals pi. Sine of pi is zero. And then the last one, if we keep going around, would be two pi. I know there are infinitely many answers, and we could have gone in the negative direction, but these are the simplest ones. Okay, but that's 3, right? 3 theta is A. So that equals 3 theta equals 3 theta equals 3 theta. So solve them all for theta. Go ahead and write your answers in there. Pause the video if you have to. I mean, think of your answers. You're not going to write them in there. So this would be theta equals 0. Theta equals pi over 3. That's 60 degrees to help you visualize where it would be. And this is 2 pi over 3. Right, 2 pi over 3 uh, from that. Okay, so now we have our answers for what these are. This is pi over 3, and this one is 2 pi over 3. And there's theta equals 0, which we knew without having to do 
for solving, but we got it from solving it as well.